Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to just set up a basic tier list bot. Of course, for your server, if you're looking to make a tier list, this tier list bot will include the basics such as uh, results, uh, you know, a testing ticket panel, and then I don't know some other features I might add. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna add just yet, but if you want to get all the CMD codes, you want to go to my server. I will leave the link in the description. All the codes should be in a spot called CMD codes right now. But uh, as of right now, we're in a little bit of re renovation, so you know. Soon, the uh, CMD code channel will not be an option. So you're, instead, you're going to go to a place called Tier List Commands. It's going to show up all right here. And you, it's kind of it's a little sneak peek of what the renovations are going to look like. But um, first of all, right now, all we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and just get a. Our, so pretty much, all we're going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and just make a basic, um, a basic just a basic uh, ticket command just for you to use. So let me go ahead and make that. So here we are in Bakos. Uh, let me go ahead and do this real quick. But anyways, here we are in BotGhost, so I have my own little bot right here. If you want to know how to make a bot and then put it into BotGhost, I recommend just going into their own YouTube channel for that. Also, link that in the description. But let's go ahead and get into the custom command prompt. Um, you can name whatever you want this, uh, whatever you want this, what's it called? Command, like, this ticket panel. I'm just going to call it a testing ticket panel. But I go ahead and recommend, if you have your bot to be set to a private bot, I just put administrator. But if it's a public bot for some reason, you would have to put it into a, you would have to, make a role for it so whenever people add your bot they can't really use it so right now i just have it on require information so you have to be an administrator so here we are on the ticket panel so what i'm going ahead to do is that i'm just going to add a send or edit a message block i'm gonna go ahead and just link that to the main block i'm also add a button to it so this is this right here is going to be your message right now i'm not going to do much of it so I'm just like testing ticket panel and then here get tested well i mean that's kind of bad get tested here you can also mess like if you want to put a color just put a color i'll put a color just for the sake of the video um, up here, you can put like, I don't know that here. You can put a ping if you want to. I don't know if you'd want to do that though. Um, for this button, I just say enter or create ticket, something like that. You can mess with the color. There's not really that much options. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it as a red color actually. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add a send a form button. Uh, you can call this form test. Just call it test to be honest. Here you're gonna add it. You're gonna make it. You can technically put this title as whatever you want. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call it testing ticket form. What you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna add the IGN. You're gonna to want to add the region, oh. and then you also want to add two more things: uh, preferred server, and then current tier. And also, what you want to go ahead and do is make sure all these are set to required. And then for the variable name, which is required, you should add Q1, Q2, Q3, and then Q4. So this is going to pretty much that little form that pops up whenever you enter the entity tiers verification panel, or whenever you want to get tested. This pretty much pops up for every um, tier list that you want to get tested in. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, do a create a channel uh, block, and what you're gonna name this channel is you're gonna name it ticket, and you're gonna add a little space towards it, and then you're gonna do it's uh, I don't know what these are uh, squiggly brackets really called. You put user underscore, I think it's underscore, uh, then you're gonna put name. And you also do you're gonna end it with a squiggly bracket. For the category, I'm gonna go back to my server. Uh, I'm gonna go to tickets. I'm gonna copy the category. If you do not see this option, it's because you don't have developer mode on. Uh, please search that up and uh, just search it up in Google, which will tell you how to do it. But now that I have it. I'm going to copy that. Um, permissions, what I recommend to do is go ahead and, uh, oh crap. All right, now that's, okay. Now that I had it about to my server, I'm going to go ahead and go back here. I'm going to refresh my roles and then I'm going to pick at everyone, at everyone. So that means, so basically what this is going to do is that if you go to deny view permissions, just go into the permissions, uh, I don't know what that is, pop up and then search up view underscore channel, pick that. That makes it so everyone, like a normal member cannot view the tickets. That's pretty much what it does. And then what else? I also have a tester role. You're going to want to do that. You want to give it the view channel and send message permissions. And then there's one more you want to do. You're going to do it this time a user. And then you're going to do squiggly bracket. User squiggly bracket. And then you're going to want to add the same things as you added for the tester view channel and send message terms. All right. So now at this point, you pretty much get the channel created and the ticket created. But we need to add some other things, such as the embedded that goes into the ticket so you can close it later. And also, it also so it will show the rest of your, the rest of your, um, uh, out what's it called inputs such as the things you sent in the form. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna now when you do that you're gonna find a, another sender edit message. Got one more thing in this uh what's it called optional variable you're gonna add this as test. You're just gonna make sure that it's called test. Send to a specific channel. All you're gonna do is uh, add your add your um channel what's it called channel variable ID in there. The one right here. It should be up here if you made it. All you're gonna do here is uh what you what I would do. It's gonna be a, a lot of typing, but I'm gonna send the CMD code into my description. So if you just want to copy it and then go down and edit it and make you know it, for some people 
if you go ahead and just copy my CMD codes, but you do not watch the video, you're probably not going to know what the hell to do unless you actually know how to use BotGhost. But if you, know, if you know how to use BotGhost, you probably want to be here. But anyways, now what we're going to do is that here, testing, click it. You can also add that little uh, bracket if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just make this one red as well. Now what we're going to do is, hello. I'm just going to make a little introduction. So like something like, hello, user, this is your testing ticket. And then now what you want to do is that you want to get all of your four options. So let's go ahead and put IGN here. The little, bra the little, um, it's called as asterisks or, you know, underscores. That is just so it will underline it and bold in the word. So now what you want to do is you're going to want to go into uh, Q1. You want to get the Q1 uh, variable option. And then you want to come in here and just put it under IGN. And then you're going to do the same thing for your region option. So under this, you get the uh, Q2 form answer. And then you just do the same thing. It's pretty much just rinse and repeat. So once you're here, um, once you are here, I'm, I'm just going to do the rest for this. Uh, I'm not really going to make you uh, actually watch it, but it's pretty much just get the preferred server answer. The current to your answer, just put it down there and just copy and paste, basically. All right. So now I pretty much have it all done. Uh, this is not how it's actually going to look like. It's going to look uh, a little bit different. It's not going to look weird like that, though. So now we're here. You're just going to add a button. This is going to be called close. And then you're going to hide the replies. So now what you're going to do is you're going to send another sender edit block. You're just going to put, are you sure you want to close this ticket? So now we're going to add... And then add another button. Yes, I like to put this button gray, but you, you, it doesn't really matter. And then you just go search up for delete a channel. And then after that, you're going to go to specific channel. And that channel option that you created earlier should pick up or show up here. So now this is pretty much it. So now if I save it, I go ahead and refresh my panel. I send it here. So here it is. Um, To get rid of this uh, little thing right here, if you, you just don't want it like that, you go back to your block and then you go to... The third option under reply, it will make it a little bit different. So here again, I'm going to reset it. So it's just so it doesn't reply to my original message or command message. And so all I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter my info, I guess, uh, preferred server. Uh, yep, uh, loader three. And then it's going to create a ticket right here. So this is what it's going to look like if you copied what I did. And then you can just go to close. It's, it's not going to show option to other members. You're going to click yes, and then it will close the ticket. Okay, so now I'm going to go over a little bit more advanced things if you want to add it. Okay, so if you do not, if you're, if you're fine with how it is right now, I'm going to put something up in the video to where you can skip to the result setup. So, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and just do some other things. So I'm going to go ahead and add ticket logs. This is going to be more of a chat log. It's not really perfect, but it's definitely something you would want to add. So what you're going to do is you're going to save your command option. Or I mean, your, your command, you're going to go into your data storage, and then you're going to create a new variable called ticket. It's pretty much just going to be a true and false statement. So the default value should be false. That's all you got to do. You're going to go back here and then uh, in the middle of this, create a channel block and send it, send a edit or message block. You're going to want to add a set to variable block. You just want to connect it between those two. You're going to go to ticket and then you're going to do the specific, specific variable and you're going to add your channel variable in there. And what you're going to do is that you're going to set it to true. So this makes it so this this specific channel right here is a ticket. So whenever, this bot will know that this specific channel is a ticket. So now what you want to do is you want to go to custom events. You're going to make uh, an event. You're going to do message events, and then you're going to do when a message is sent. You're going to do a comparison condition. And in this comparison value, you're going to add. I mean, in this base value, you're going to add um ticket. It should be just, it should just be called ticket. And then you're just going to add true. And then you're going to add a condition. If it's true, it will send a message to uh, the sender. Edit a message. Uh, I'm just going to make it simple message content by user, uh, user in the squiggly line brackets, uh, just search up event message content. I would like send a message I was sent in that channel. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. It should work. I'm going to go here. I'm going to reset my discord, just make sure it works. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a new panel. So once I make a new panel, I'm just, gonna, I'm not really going to add all my information to this one, but there, you know, if I say, Hey, okay, well, that's a little, that's a little uh, bug by me, but, um, then send a message to a specific channel is what I meant to uh, pick and make sure to have already have a ticket channel or it really doesn't matter if you make it after the command is made. So now, now, now if I don't mess it up, there we go. So this pretty much just logs all the chats that are uh, sent in a ticket. You can also add it. So um, a little example, if I go here, ticket chat logs, you'll make it so you can see all the chats. Sent in a ticket channel or a ticket, yeah, a ticket channel. And that's an option you can definitely do if you want to. Uh, if you would want to, I don't know. Let's say a person closes a, I don't know, if a person closes a channel, you would want to say send or edit a message. 
and then you'd want to do uh send a message to a specific channel you get your channel id again you put it in there and then you would put hashtag user closed channel and uh you're just gonna save it again you have to reset your discord or restart it every time you update or make a new command so and then you also have to update the command props so here we are I'm just gonna go ahead and just put everything as one again hello just to make sure the ticket logs works it does work i'm gonna go to close yes and then it will show that i closed ticket my ticket or also called ticket Belcourt fn so that's pretty much um there's a lot of other options you can do if you want to add more game modes it's pretty much just a copy and pasting you add a button and just send it back down here make sure to change the form names and everything or it will not save correctly so now that is your testing ticket panel now we're going to go ahead and go back to my server and then you're going to want to go to the tier list command and then you're going to want to choose just advanced results um advanced results won't really work into my server just because i don't actually have any roles made so if you do not have all the roles set up just delete all this extra stuff delete basically anything right anything below this all this right here deleted but if you do have everything if you're at every game mode type of every game mode type of what's it called server you pretty much just fill in all these add roles blocks so let's say uh low tier five for crystal you're gonna have to add the what's it called the role and it's a really tiring process but this is what you have to do there is probably a faster way i just for some reason made it this way though but for me uh this is all useless i will not be using any of this so this by i'm gonna i'm, I'm not gonna make you watch all this but i'm just gonna delete all this real quick all right so here we are just I, I deleted all the blocks because uh, I didn't I did not want to put all that time and effort into doing that. But anyways, um, this is what it's gonna look like. It's already gonna have some reactions to it. It's already gonna have um, oh well, it's not really gonna have this. You you do need to fill in the specific channel. I already have a results uh channel. You're you're just gonna put the result channel that you made it in. And then for this this block right here is is basically gonna say how many tests has a user who did who did this command have. So I'm just gonna put that in ticket logs. I don't really have another log channel, but this is pretty much already all made. So let me go ahead and finish this real quick. I'm just gonna restart. I mean, I'm gonna save the command. I'm gonna restart my bot. So here we are. I'm just gonna do slash results, user, velocity, low tier three, low tier three, as uh, crystal. All right, so I, I kind of forgot to do this, but you know, it's, it's a good reminder. Um, Go back to the command and you're gonna have to set a role that's allowed. So this allowed with role sync, this is this um I, I accidentally deleted my original command i had to copy this command back off another server but i'm just gonna put um i guess yeah tester so uh this all these roles i never made they're just kind of set by another person so let me go ahead and add myself a uh tester i'm gonna do slash results uh, do the same thing basically and it's gonna send the results it's gonna go ahead and uh just it's all it's all it's pretty much just gonna you know put your info in here is going to react there is a way to put your little minecraft message in there i low-key forgot i don't really know why i didn't put into this but i will make an updated um what's it called i will update the bot i mean the command a little bit so it already has a what's it called so it already has a um minecraft image in the top right corner but yeah this is basically all i'm going to do for this video i'm gonna this bot is gonna be more like a series i'm gonna keep adding on more stuff such as the queue so you can i don't know so you know how to create a queue so you know how to configure the queue I'm also add some other mini things such I'm gonna upgrade the results. I'm gonna make it a way better ticket panel, you know, just some small things or and big things definitely. I'm definitely gonna make some new commands. It's probably gonna be a showcase by as well. But anyways, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, bye.